So it's absolutely crazy here today at SNG. I haven't showed you anything around here for a while, so we're gonna show you some stuff. We got Isaac, Isaac, the awesome, awesome Isaac, working on our show, of course, as always, because the show must go on, and this one definitely is going on. Mary's working on things, see? The Enterprise is still there, the Nautilus is still there. All this cool stuff is still here. See, we're still here, but we're just like crazy working on the show and uh, and now it's looking like we're going to do a feature too, but we'll talk more about the feature motion picture later. Uh, over here we got all kinds of people. We got a new intern, Jim. We have Conda here and Darla cleaning out their molds, which came out perfect. First molds they ever made of their sculptures, and they came out just beautiful. And then we have John here. You can keep talking. <laughs> John is our star intern this, this uh, month because he just informed us yesterday he's leaving us. That's right. He got hired by, uh, what was the claim? Animal Makers? Animal Makers. Got hired by Animal Makers. They are impressed with what he did here and they hired him. He's got a job over there working for the next couple of months doing all kinds of uh, cool stuff for people who make animatronic creatures and all that kind of thing. And that's what we hope for here at SNG when we intern people is that they will take the skills they learn here and go out in the real world and get work. Of course, as soon as we get funded for our film, I'm going to hire him back. <laughs> ah, so, uh, over here we have Zamira, who's working on our, on our puppet sculpture for But Something Is There, which is... Uh, well, everybody's been working on this. Uh, initially, I roughed it out. Everybody's had a hand in on working on it. It's still uh, getting smoothed out. Soon, we're going to start putting details in it. Uh, it started with this uh, drawing over here that I did and then enlarged and pieced together with both the armature and everything. And Giselle, better known on Instagram as Giselle, <laughs> is working on uh, the prosthetics that we need for our next shoot. Uh, December 3rd for uh, Jeff playing the main character. This is his old age makeup. So, uh, and over here we got the submarine which is being charged right now. This is the latest client build for um, Steve Fisher and this is the World War II submarine, uh, a midget submarine that was used during World War II and uh, it's going to be tested this Sunday and his next submarine is over there waiting to be built. And there's a third one coming as well. And, uh, well, so you know about uh, the Deadpool uh, costume, which I am working on. And uh, I have now got these, just came the other day. And uh, these are, these are the, my ninja swords. And here they are. See, are they pretty? A real leather wrap, real metal blade. I can, cut myself with it if I'm not careful, but uh, <laughs> yep, got those. Uh, I've even got a Deadpool wallet, <laughs> which came from Paulina. She came here to visit today and gave me a, a Deadpool wallet, which got to go with the costume. I've got the belt down here, which uh, I just got, and I'm going to, of course, uh, improve upon. Of course, you know about the, the holsters for the um, Desert Eagles, which are the next thing I'm ordering is uh, a set of Desert Eagle uh, Airsoft Desert Eagles, not the real ones. They won't let me walk around with those. So that's what's going on here. Uh, we're going to get back to work on this. And what are you working on now, Isaac? I was just going to string a little bit of trailer together. Oh, yes. Yes, you've been working on a trailer. Soon we're going to have a full on theatrical trailer and we'll give you an idea. Uh, what the show is looking like and how beautiful it's coming out and we've had a lot of good feedback on it and we have every confidence that we'll be selling this to uh, Netflix or Hulu or one of those so uh, yeah it's going great well I can't wait to see the trailer uh, John so we have something oh, for you we yes yes I didn't want to touch it with my McDonald's you want to go ago. wash it yeah, I think so. Well, let's go watch him wash his hands. <laughs> it's a big moment. See? 
John's last day here, so I figure well, <laughs> we're going to watch him do everything. Well, not everything. <laughs> As you can see, I still haven't learned how to wash my hands. Yep, clean the sink afterwards, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh, why, it's um, Mary's working on her next painting. And I didn't show you her painting. I got to run upstairs real quick here. And. Uh, this is her latest painting, and I really, really, really love it. I think she has just done a great job on this. So, and she's been painting away. I mean, she's been doing all these paintings here, and I still haven't finished mine, but I will. Oh, and I've got, what else I got going on? I've got the, uh, this boat here, which I'm going to be putting together soon. Got this for $14. It's about a $200 kit I found at a thrift store. Oh God, I got so much stuff going on around here. It makes me crazy, but I'm stepping on things. So back down here we go. Uh, and uh, we're gonna get back to John here. Okay. Oh, hey, okay, John. Boy, it's hot. Oh, okay, John. Da -da 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 -da. Here you go. That's it. That's you. You got a you got a nice Manila envelope, and a, oops, there's the back of it, <laughs> <laughs> and the certificate there you go. for all the things you have learned here. And I'm able, sure I forgot something. Probably, uh, but this enabled you to uh, get a gig at. Uh, it did. Yeah, yeah it's um, you know, it's. I was talking to uh, the owner over there, telling him. I've been aware of their presence there in Moorpark. Uh, oh, I live in Moorpark too, so I've you been aware address, of their so presence you there for a while. No, <laughs> but you know, I had nothing to bring to the table. It's when you think about the fact I've been here less than a year yeah. right now, and it's was a able to get over six months. Yeah, and was able to get hired over there. It's I That's can't thank fantastic. you guys enough. Seriously, oh, you're oh, the, me. Oh, happy. the experience. We're the people I've met, everything. It's just fantastic. I know, but this, this is a big deal for us because... Yeah. yeah. We, changed, we changed your life. Oh, we changed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you guys very much. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. You bet, John. You bet. So that's how we do it here at SNG. So, uh, yeah, this so? is my first few minutes here in the shop, already excited. I, I didn't realize that there was a second Disneyland here, right in Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just really excited. I'm a, a young artist, and starting my education as well. And, and your name? I am James Wolf. <laughs> I go by Jim. Uh, 30, 30 years old, uh, U.S. military veteran, and uh, hopefully uh, artist. Uh, from what I've seen of your work, you yeah. are. <laughs> Sorry, but yeah. you, you are an artist. Right. So. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. uh, we were uh, working very hard on the sets, and this box showed up. Very mysteriously because I didn't know anything. Did you know anything? Did I know anything? Yeah. Okay, so it took me a while. I got off my glasses on. I'm trying to read who it came from, the origin, and then, oh, I know where this is from. And I started to open it. And you know me, I like stuff like this. Uh, oh, there's a note inside. Oh my goodness. A very authentic. Uh, it says, thanks again, Steve. It took the long way around, but here's the tunic we intended to use on Adam. Only worn that one other time for our example. Hope all is well and we can contact again soon. Connect again soon. All the best, Kai. Kai, who has uh, been all along uh, producing and personal assistant to uh, Mr. Adam Nimoy, who came here and visited, and uh, they offered this to me for helping them. And uh, I am so pleased because this is the non velour kind you can wash, what they used uh, in the third season and uh, made by uh, Anovis, and it's so cool. Thank you so much. I'm so thrilled to get this. I wonder if it fits. I'm more than likely glad right. you look awesome. It's waiting. And, and thank you so much again, Kai and Adam and the vlogging crossword. Very cool. You going to try it on? Do you have your glasses? Okay.
Now this is uh, the same as what uh, Leonard would have worn. The stripes are right. Oh wow, is it? Ouch. Things uh, kind of pull off a little bit of hair I have left. Hopefully it'll fit. Can you zip it for her? For him? Got it. There we go. Wow. Gets. <laughs> on his ears and bob my hair. It does fit, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Wow. Turn around. Thank you. Okay. Look at that. I need to move my way. There you go. <laughs> wow, okay. thank you guys. So cool. So here we are in another day of another shoot, which I think is like day six or seven of shooting, and we are getting close to getting towards the end of the script. We have like two more weekends of shooting, and we actually have the whole thing. And of course we have Jeff Bond here. <laughs> he gets tired of that joke. Uh, getting made up in his age pieces. Yep, it's your turn. <laughs> and Logan's over there. <laughs> and everyone's in here getting ready and uh, to shoot our first shot on the sets and John brought his new toy yeah. which is a boom this would have been nice to have earlier on but we have it now so we're very grateful John and John yep. and we have our set over here which is double purpose. We uh, a den for uh, older Jeff. Uh, some outside of the building for another shot we're going to do. We've been uh, really busy. Which is good because we need to come that way. And this. Okay. Even Tim showed up. So <laughs> this is. Uh, going to be Jeff's uh, yep. study, contemporary, not 50s, and you'll notice the books that are in here. A lot of books from my dear friend, Mr. Schriever. And, uh, yeah, a, my very first copy of uh, Communion, uh, which I first read when it came out. And uh, I think I got him finally to sign this one. Somewhere in here? Yes, there. Signed by Whitley Street, first edition, you can tell by the yelling. The book was only $17 back then, which actually was a lot of money back in uh, 80... You know, I can never remember, what was it? Ah, 1987. So, um, and this book, of course, very much changed my life and a lot of other people's lives as well. It's Logan, and he's hamming it up. All right, Paul, so uh, you ready to do this? Yeah, why don't we slate it? We slate this in. Thank you, Tim. Tim's with us here today. You can get closer. Say hi, Tim. Yeah, like hi, it. Tim. <laughs> Very and, good. Uh, don't block the light on it. Okay. And there's Logan. Let's move your body back. He's upside yeah, down. Okay. Okay. And and slate uh, that in. So I have like what do I say? <laughs> Nothing because we're silent. Move out. Don't don't click it because it's not Scott Sound. All right. Okay, now Logan, you're gonna run over there and get in bed quick. Ready and action. Okay, cut. So I'm do it again. So here we are, back at SNG Studios on Monday after a long shoot yesterday, which went really well. We did have uh, some issues, we sometimes do. In this case, it was makeup. Uh, we had problems with the makeup prosthetics. So we're going to, we didn't shoot the scene with Jeff and his den. We're gonna come back uh, with Paulina and uh, we're gonna correct the things that were wrong and make them right and do the scene properly. That's the way we do things. We don't give up, we, we go back to it if it's not working. And we, keep at it till it works because by golly if we can get it to work 
we will and we do. Right, Mary? Absolutely. Yep, we're just sitting here uh, having a nice cup of tea. Trying to get over the weekend. It's yeah, a long we're, we were kind of slow today and we're looking on the internet and having a nice sit here at SMG watching the trains go by and um, taking a breath. Having some tea. To, yeah, getting a breath. I'm about to uh, go over here uh, and, and do some more work on Lightwave. Um, which is a shot of, those are all galaxies there that I'm working on that we move out of the opening sequence where Whitley Strieber describes to you before you start uh, having a notion that the subject matter you're about to view may be questionable. Uh, before you think that way, you might want to question your own reality and where you are. You know, it's very nice and cozy here in this uh, room and with Mary and everything. But we're sitting on a dust ball orbiting a star with millions and billions of other stars in a galaxy where there's millions and billions of other galaxies and it goes on forever. When this, Where this universe stops, another one starts and picks up and so on. So when you think something is unimaginable or questionable or outside the realms of reality, you have to consider where you actually are. Think about where you really, really are and what you are. You're this living, breathing being with a consciousness in it. That's pretty amazing and pretty unbelievable in itself. Yet, here we are. So that's really what the show is about. Yeah, so uh, we'll be getting to work here in a minute and uh, we're back to weekly, so that means this week I gotta do a show, even if it's just my big fat mouth talking. <laughs> right, Mary? If you say so. <laughs> Well, as promised, I said I'd show you the maiden voyage of the uh, Mary Elizabeth, the schooner, the 1850s schooner that I scratch built. And it was very successful, although we did not have very uh, much wind at all. In fact, I mean, it, it was just barely a one mile or two mile an hour breeze. Despite that, I was able to uh, see that the, the ship will actually work. Uh, under more favorable conditions, still a really good uh, first trial run or maiden voyage that Jeff Proteus, uh, I'm sorry, Jeff, excuse me, Jeff Proteus uh, filmed uh, on his iPhone for me. He also uh, sent me a video uh, on my phone of the his sea view that I worked on and installed stuff and did some painting on for him. Uh, Predominantly, most of the work was done by him, but he had me do some painting work and some installation work and uh, on the watertight compartment. And he's been working for years to get this sub just right, and he finally did. And as you can clearly see in the video, it's quite spectacular. Steve, good for yeah, you. Get to turn back in the shore, I'll be happy. <laughs> 
It is slowly turning. I think I need more rubber. Yeah, you might. Sure looks good. Real, real sailboat. Don't worry, it's supposed to do that. Now you got a breeze. Right. Well, I think it sails. We If it sinks, then I can have a So that's it for our short little show uh, this week, and uh, we'll try to do another one next week or the week after. I'm going to try to do them weekly, but it may be every other week, and uh, but certainly more frequent than it's been. Uh, major changes around here. Uh, this, the, the show is doing great. We're very, very far along into editorial and effects, and we should have a finished show uh, within the next couple of months of the next year. Uh, we've got all kinds of nice projects going on here. We're very, very grateful uh, for all the support we have uh, from everyone. And uh, we love you a whole bunch. You know we do. And we'll see you again real soon.